Oh, hello. This is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life. And this week, Kara and I are heading out to join Emily and John to paddle the whole Manistee River. To spend a week on the river with my friends and my dog in comfort, we need a bunch of gear. And all of it still has to fit in that canoe. So after double and triple checking that everything's going to fit and that we aren't overweight, it's time to mount up and secure my Ascend 14-foot canoe to the top of the Jeep, all 100 pounds of it. Then we just pack the dog and myself in the car and start the relatively short drive just a few hours north to our canoe trailhead access for the Manistee River. Our plan is to meet at the Manistee River Roadside Park. It's across the river from the private launch and campsite area called Chippewa Landing. It's where we started our first ever Manistee River adventure years ago. By launching 30 miles from the headwater, we avoid so many down branches and shallow water portages with our heavy canoes. We won't have to get out at least. From this point down the river, it's wide, slow, and forgiving. We'll still have over 130 miles of paddling to cover before we pull our boats out on Friday morning. Once we got our canoes down, off the cars, and our gear out and loaded up, it's time for the part we didn't bargain for. It's over a two hours and 20 minute round trip to drop a catch car off at Insta Launch on the Manistee Lake. No matter how we cut it, it's a long drive, followed by a long drive, and now we're running over two hours late for hitting the river, and that's never a good look. But hey, we still had 15 miles to paddle to our first campground of the trip. And the skies were starting to cloud up. And we're running over two hours behind hey, schedule. Let's go, let's go. But we're finally on the river. Finally stretching our arms in the summer heat. Paddling downstream toward adventure with our friends and my dog. Finally getting a little time away from the hustle and bustle of the world. Just finally. But like all the best things in life, we couldn't enjoy it for too long because eventually it got darker quicker. And the clouds came and the wind kicked up. Oh, and there was rain. Then we didn't have much choice but to get off the river at the first campground we came to. And that is not where we were supposed to be stopping. We had to get our boats up out of the water get our gear safe and secured and you know try and pitch a couple tents and get under them as fast as we could cuz terrain it's here and we had to get under our tents before the worst of that storm hit
there is no better way to start a river trip than 10 miles behind on the first day with boats full of water and soaking wet gear. Well, that's going to be it for this week, folks. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed the start of our paddle down the whole Manistee River with John and Emily. If you liked it, or even if you didn't, you know, give it that thumbs up. Click subscribe somewhere down there, and then remember to ring that bell so you'll get a notification next week when John, Emily, Karen, and I get back on the river and try and catch up on all those miles we were missing out on from the rain and getting pushed off. Uh, you know, also, if you could go down and leave a comment, let us know what kind of gear you'd like to see in our merch shop. There's a link to the merch shop down below. Uh, and just, you know, let us know what you want to see as you get closer to deer season. We're excited. We hope you are too. Uh, this has been MI Adventure Life. Thanks for watching, guys.